the stars bathe in the light of flash bulbs, exquisite jewelry is part of the picture. The more expensive, the better. Carolina Grosi Scheufele often looks on proudly as her creations adorn the celebrities on the red carpet. She's the co-president of Chopard. The firm's big anniversary allows her to reflect. Sometimes I think back, what was Chopin 20 years ago? What is Chopin today? And where do we want to take it? And then, of course, one is proud that it's still a family business and that the trademark has become known all over the world. It's been a long road to this point. In 1860, Louis Ulysse Chopard founded his watch factory in the Swiss Jura Mountains. The company rapidly became famous, supplying its elegant wares to the royal courts of Europe. Karl Scheufele became a goldsmith and watchmaker in Pforzheim in 1904. Two generations later, in 1963, the two companies became one when Karl Scheufele bought Chopard. Today, the 72-year-old is still the boss. His children, Carolina and Karl Friedrich, are co-presidents. A lot of our staff says working with a family is a completely different experience compared to working for a big anonymous company that is constantly replacing its directors. But Carolina Grosi Schäufele is involved in more than just a business end. Since 1985, she's also been designing jewelry. Today, Chopard is a global concern, employing 1,700 people in 124 countries and producing 75,000 watches and pieces of jewelry each year. The luxury label is known for its modern, sometimes eccentric creations. Chopard celebrated its birthday by releasing an animal collection comprising 150 unique one-off items. This woman designs jewelry for women. That's quite decisive. She understood rapidly that cool, sleek, and traditional jewelry is not much fun. So instead, she began creating with colors, space, and lots of imagination. And in such a glamorous business, inevitably she's often in the limelight herself. She's now on first-name terms with stars and royalty, and is likewise a target for the photographers. I always feel a little, not quite stage fright, but a little anxiety. Will I lose a shoe or will something happen? Will an earring become loose? It's a new experience every time. Chopin has a strong presence at the Cannes Film Festival. Carolina Grosi Scheufele redesigned the Golden Palm Award 12 years ago. And since 2001, the luxury label has awarded its own prize, the Trophée Chopin for Young Actors. For this and other events, the stars are generously draped with valuable jewellery. The way they um, design their um, pieces is a very, very um, whimsical, poetic. The jewellery always leaves our premises with a bodyguard, who remains with the actress until she goes to bed, so to speak, and then he brings it back. Carolina Grosi Schäufele could tell plenty of anecdotes, but the discreet executive prefers to work, sometimes on the red carpet as well.